Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. I right click on first script.html page, open with the notepad, maximize and minimize this file. I right click once again on first script.html page, open with the Firefox. You can see here, I have a basic structure of HTML document. Here, I am going to set the title, title as JavaScript tutorials, closing title, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that title is set to JavaScript tutorials and we have first script.html page open in browser. In the previous video tutorials, we understood that to execute some JavaScript code, we embed the JavaScript code using a script tag in HTML documents. Script tag is a paired tag. So I am going to write here opening script tag and closing script tag. Script tag has an attribute called as type to that we give a value text or JavaScript double quotation that indicates whatever we write in between this opening and closing script tag is going to be a JavaScript code or a plain text. Then we understood to display hello world text on the browser window, we take help of JavaScript object called as document. Document is a JavaScript object that refers to our HTML document. Inside the document object, we have a member method called as write method. To access that write method, we use member access operator that is dot or period. After the object name, we put a period or dot. Then we write the member name. So the member is write method is a member. It is a function. Of course, any name followed by two brackets in JavaScript is treated as a function or a method. So write is a method. Write method accepts a string. String in JavaScript is sequence of characters enclosed in double quotations. So in double quotations, we write sequence of characters characters here I am writing hello world and I am giving that string to the right method. It is responsible for displaying this string on to the document or the browser window. And we understood that every statement in JavaScript is going to end with a semicolon. Then I say file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are finding hello world displayed on the browser window. Quite simple. If I want to display one more hello world, I can copy this document dot write and paste it down to, to display one more time. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that I am getting two times hello world, hello world. You can see that. And if we want to display the content on the next line, we are going to use the break tag, which is a HTML BR tag. Of course, we can use tags in between the double quotations or as a part of a string to get some desired outputs. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we are finding hello world displayed one below another. So what actually happening here is document.write is displaying hello world and break tag is moving the cursor to the next line and there the hello world is getting displayed by this write method. And also we understood in the previous video tutorial that if we have more than one white spaces like this, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are not finding any spaces. The reason is browser is going to collapse more than one white spaces to a single space. That is what happens at the end. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see we are getting the same output. Also, we understood if we need to get more space in between words, we use HTML entity ampersand NBSP semicolon. That is non-breaking space file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see it has added one space. If we want more spaces, then we can copy paste this any number of times. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see I'm getting more spaces between hello world. I am going to select this and delete file, save, go to browser and refresh. Similarly, I want to display one more hello world below this hello world text. So to do that, what we have to do? First thing is I have to use the break tag to tell to the system that move the cursor to the next line. Then I am going to write here document dot write in double quotation. I write hello world double quotation bracket close semicolon file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that I got 
got one more time hello world if we want we can put the break tag here there is no problem only thing is it moves the cursor to the next line file save go to browser and refresh quite simple now in this video tutorial i am going to discuss javascript comments in html also we have comments in css we have comments in c c++ c sharp java javascript in every programming language normally we find comments now what is the purpose of comments comments are used to add description to code to explain codes normally we use comments or if we do not want to execute some code we use comments because comments are actually ignored by the browser here javascript has two types of comments single line comment and multi line comment in c c++ also we have single line comments and multi line comments i am going to discuss about uh, single line comment and multi line comment uh, in detail now let's discuss step by step single line comments are going to be indicated by using two forward slashes i write two forward slash and in front of that anything i can write for example i i am going to tell here like document document is a object which refers which refers to html document anything i want i can write in this line now whatever we have written followed by two forward slash in this line is going to be ignored by the browser this is just an explanation to the code i have written for understanding purpose it is something like a notes in the code file save go to browser and refresh you can see that i am not getting any error browser is executing these statements it is not executing this comment browser actually ignores comments guys that you should remember if you want you can write multiple line comments also by using forward slash star then star forward slash in between whatever you write is going to be ignored that is multi line comment you can write multiple lines of comment here for example i can say here i copy this and paste here document is a object which refers to html document then write is a method it is a member of document object like that we can add more explanation to codes you can see i have written more than one line of comment file save go to browser and refresh you can see we don't get any problem this is how you can write multiple line comments by using forward slash star and star forward slash you just need to sandwich multiple lines of content in between forward slash star and star forward slash for example if you do not want to execute this line of code then simply you just put two forward slashes then once you put two forward slash automatically that line is going to be treated as a comment browser is not going to execute that line of code it is going to be ignored by the browser now if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see i am getting the output only two times i am finding the hello world on the browser similarly if you want to comment more than one line as i told i am going to say here forward slash star then below here i say star forward slash now these two lines also we made comment so these two lines are going to be ignored by the browsers file save go to browser and refresh you can see that nothing is executed all these things are comments only remember that to indicate single line comments in javascript we use two forward slashes for multiple line comments we use forward slash star and star forward slash remember that comments are ignored by the browsers comments are meant to write ex explanations in the code or comments are used to provide notes in the code so that we can be able to understand the code later also or maybe some other person can also be able to understand the codes by seeing comments easily hope you guys have understood what are javascript comments and uh, how they work for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial